What is up guys? I want to make this really quick video because I'm, I'm making this video based off of feedback. I'm recording this after the course has been done and it's had some reviews and it's been going for a few months and I'm very cognizant of some people really love the course and I know that some people don't like the course because they feel that it's too slow. Let me just say this. If you are an absolute beginner and you do not know how to draw at all or never really attempted to draw or you're feeling super apprehensive about the subject of drawing, then yes, I want you to take this course. However, I want you to look at these first sections, sections one through seven. Please take a look at those sections or one through six. That's half the course. If you understand how to draw pyramids, cones, wedges, cylinders, and you know how to round things off and make them organic, and you understand lines and C-curves and S-curves, this course is not for you. I made this specifically for, for, based on the feedback of my students that needed, that felt like they wanted something that was really super basic, and that's what this course is. I, I definitely want people to sign up for the course, but this may not be for you. And let me just say that if you are already drawing and if you're already making basic shapes and you feel like you have been drawing, but you're like, well, maybe this other beginner course is going to help me out. This probably isn't going to be for you. I just want to be completely honest. Not that I haven't been honest, but I want to be completely honest with what to expect. And also I speak and go over things at a slower pace because it's a beginner course. If you are not really comfortable with someone speaking in a slower pace and being a bit more informal but constantly giving you the uh, constantly going forward and and giving you a bit of feedback and letting you take your time and slowing the things down a little bit also this course is not going to be for you so I for those of you that need that and that want that please sign up for the course that'd be great but for those of you that really do understand the basic concepts of the first six lessons, this course is not going to be for you and it's probably not going to be very helpful for you. So I just want to reiterate that before you even decide that you want to sign up because I don't really want you to waste your time at all on something that you already know. I do have other courses, but when it comes to this course right here, I want you to know what to expect. I move at a slower pace because this is really meant for the people that really don't know how to draw or haven't really tried to or have been afraid to or maybe they look at some of the basic stuff they're doing and feel super frustrated. That's what this course is for. So for those of you that understand all the basics, there are plenty of other courses here on Udemy that you can that will probably benefit you a bit more. So I just want to make you 100% aware of that. This is truly, truly a true beginner course. I said true enough times, right? Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this, and you can watch the rest of the videos. For those of you that need it, please sign up. And for those of you that think this might be a little bit too basic for you, thanks for taking a look at the course anyway. All right, see you next time. So welcome to drawing and sketching for beginners. And drawing has probably been hard for you for a few reasons. First of all, drawing is hard for you because maybe you pick up a book and the book says, and it's a book on, it says drawing something like anatomy for beginners. And the first step is to draw this cylinder somehow and draw this. You want to start out with a simple line. You want to do this. Then all of a sudden, you go from here. Then you want to add some facial features. That'll be step two that you see in the book. I'm just sketching out a few things here, and I've been doing this for a while, so this is going to be a little bit. And then all of a sudden, the last the last panel is this, like, then add details. And all of a sudden, it's this really polished uh, figure or person or, or whatever it is. And it's, it's got shading on it. And it's, and it's the person and it's, they've got like, add light and details. And so it's like step one, step two, step three.
And that's what you've seen. And then you feel like, well, okay, it's step one, step two, and step three. Well, and then you try and draw this and you're, and maybe if you were lucky, you were able to draw whatever you saw in that book, but it didn't help you draw anything else. The reason is because this does not help you out at all. If you don't understand step one, then you're not going to get to here without any sort of understanding that these eyes right here, these eyes go in a certain place. They have a certain proportion. They have a certain shape. If you don't understand shapes, then you're not going to be able to draw the eye. If you don't understand that this is a sphere and it is a round object, then you're not going to be able to turn that sphere. If you don't understand what light and shadow is, then you're not going to be able to draw some sort of shadowed, shaded version of a face with all of this detail into it. And you definitely can't do it in three steps. So if you've been looking at art books and not been able to draw, it's because those art books are for immediate. That Those are immediate art books. So if you think about it, beginning, intermediate, not immediate, intermediate, and advanced. Some of those books are even advanced. There are a few anatomy books. As someone who teaches anatomy, it is very advanced, very advanced. But it says it's for beginners. Maybe you've looked at somebody who's had a YouTube channel and they've shown you how to draw something. And they've been drawing for 20 years. They just might not, they might be an awesome artist, but they might not be that good at teaching. And that's okay, there's nothing wrong with it. But just because you're a really good artist doesn't mean you're a good teacher. One of the greatest artists on the face of the earth, earth Frank Frazetta, they asked him in his DVD that I bought years ago, well, why don't you teach? He said, I just don't have the patience for it. I can't do it. He's like, if you don't get it, I don't understand why you don't get it. And that was very profound for me because here's this master level artist who I'll talk about at almost the very end of this course. And you'll see some of his work and you can look up Frank Frazetta. That said, he just wasn't going to teach. Not because he wasn't a great artist. But that was just not something that he was going to do. So there are artists out there that are just not really great teachers. And maybe drawing has been hard for you because you bought something before and it turned out to be what I call a watch me draw. Watch me draw or even worse is watch me paint that's where an artist sits there and does something so incredible and they say that it's a tutorial but you've really just watched them draw for two hours or an hour and you paid money for it and so now you're thinking wow this is a really good dvd or a really good download was it a really good download or did you watch a really good artist draw and are you even any closer to your artistic goals? Maybe drawing has been hard for you because you've heard a lot of this other stuff out there and you've heard that here, here are some tips and tricks and secrets. And let me just stop you right there because there are no shortcuts. You just gotta learn. You gotta learn lines. You gotta learn volume and form. Got to learn shapes. And all this stuff creates every single thing that you see around you. And when you get an understanding of lines and shapes and form and volume and just understand some basics about perspective and maybe some basics about light and shadow and the way that light falls off, you can draw anything you want to draw. So drawing has been hard for you because there's just a lot of information out there and a lot of it is really bad. Not a lot, but enough of it. You'll run into more bad than you'll run into good. And so what I want to do is demystify all of that stuff for you. So if you've not been able to draw so far, it's really not your fault. I don't want you to be too hard on yourself. Because unless you understand some of the basics that you're going to learn in this course, you're not going to be able to draw. Or you're not going to be able to draw as well as you should be able to draw. So drawing is not hard for you because of many, many reasons. And we are going to fix that. I will see you in the next video. 
So here is a big, big list of what you're going to need for my course in order to be successful. I want you to go onto an art supply store and I want you to look at the most expensive pencil set you could find and the most expensive sketchbook you could find and realize that you don't need any of that stuff. All right. The only thing you're going to need is this guy right here, which is called a number two pencil, number two pencil. Sometimes it'll even say HB on it, an HB pencil. And if you want to get fancy, get two of them. What are you going to write on? You're going to write on this wonderful substance called copy paper because it's cheap. You get about 250 sheets or 500 sheets for about two bucks, two to five dollars. And that's it. That is it. That's all. No, we're not going to get a, a set of pencils. We're not going to get a bunch of sketchbooks. You're not going to be precious about anything you're going to do because you're about to do work and you're about to really learn how to draw. Now, you will notice that I am teaching you not through an overhead camera with a piece of paper. I am teaching you through a digital piece of software called Clip Studio Paint, also known as Manga Studio. The reason why I am using this is because the pencil tool I can get in here since their last update and just kind of go in and it makes these wonderful pencil strokes. And so once in a while, you'll see me use the digital tool itself to teach you, but nothing that I am doing on this digital canvas will be anything that you can't do yourself on pencil and copy paper. I, again, I'm going to teach you how to draw for real. A bunch of expensive art supplies is not going to help you draw any better. A bunch of expensive paper isn't going to help you draw any better if you don't understand your basics and your basics and fundamentals. That's all goes into your skill that you develop. Your skill is going to increase. Once your skill increases, then go ahead and and look a little bit deeper into drawing a bunch of different pencils and, and paper and things like that. But for this entire course, the only thing you need to do is whatever you're looking at this on, whether it be your desktop or your or your phone or smartphone or input device or iPad or whatever it is, you just need to look at that for the lessons and have that copy paper and that pencil right in front of you and do the homework. Do the little assignments that I give you because that's how you're really, really going to improve. And draw a lot and draw often. And that's all you need for this course. It's a traditional course. The reason why I made this course, because my students asked me to. They asked for a traditional course on drawing and sketching, something that they didn't need any software for, even though I, I do my anatomy course, you don't need any software for that. But they wanted something that was just really basic. And that's what this is, a pencil, copy paper. That's all you need. All right, see you in the next video. What is up, everybody? Before we begin to the formal intro, I thought that I would make this video because I think it's pretty important. It's how to get the most out of this course. And I'm going to put this in. in I, have more th I have more than one course. And I'm going to show you how to get the most out of this and actually all of my courses, and I would say any course that you take that isn't even mine. So let's take a look at this. First thing I want you to do is be patient. Be patient with yourself and be patient with me. And I will probably go over this in the formal introduction video, but I speak a little bit slower because from feedback from students, I have students that are English is not their native language. And so I would ask you all to be very patient with that. And sometimes I have students that do have special needs. Also, be very courteous and patient uh, with me and that. And like I said, be patient with yourself. None of this stuff, becoming better at art, does not happen. doesn't happen overnight. It just doesn't. So be patient with yourself. You are going to improve, which leads to... Point number two, just follow the order of the course. I know some of you have a little bit of experience in doing something and you may want to mix a little of this video that you saw that was really cool and you want to do something extra. Well, OK, that's fine, but that's usually how people get really frustrated. 
I know that that's how I was trying to you. You took this course because you you were avoiding trying to piece together other things. Just follow the order of the course. Trust the order of the course. Thousands of people have and they've succeeded. So just follow the order of the course. <clears throat> also, excuse me. Three practice. Practice some of the stuff that you learned. That's that is one of the biggest secrets about getting better at drawing and why certain people don't improve practice. There'll be plenty of stuff for you to practice. <laughs> Number four, ask questions. Don't ever think that I am not accessible to you. I answer questions. I say this over and over again, typically within 24 hours, because it is just true. So. So I want you to be sure that you are asking questions. Number five, ask for change. What does that mean? Does that mean you're going to ask me for money? No, that means that you are going to ask for change, meaning if there's something that you're not seeing, if it's something that you feel that this course is missing, ask me for it. I add new stuff. I change out content. I'll overhaul an entire section. There are things that I will be going back and doing. I'm always changing, changing my courses, always and changing them for the better. I'm always trying to make improvements. I'm always asking for feedback. So that's one of the things that I just want you to be aware of. If there's something that you don't see, and then just go ahead and give me the feedback and say, hey, you know something I really wanted to learn. I wish you would have talked about insert thing because I don't know what you don't know. You hear me say that again. I don't know what you don't know. So please ask for the change that you want. And whatever it is that is making this course not awesome for you, let me know what that is. You can DM me. You can hit me up in the Q&A section, however you want to do it. Or once you join the private Facebook group, you can do that there, too. Number six is pause often. Don't be afraid to hit the pause button. If there's something you don't understand, rewind and pause. I have to do that a lot when I'm learning something new. Number seven, join the community. It is a Facebook group that is closed. It is private. It is called Autier 39. I have it right down there at the bottom. So to practice your pausing skills, pause and go ahead and type in the Facebook group. And I'll show you what it looks like. If I can bring this down here, I'm going to go ahead and and do this. I'm going to go ahead and bring the my Facebook page down here so you can know. This is what it looks like. So just type into the group search or type into the search Alta39. Go ahead, sign up. There are people there. I'm doing some cool stuff over there. I'm doing extra lessons. I'm, I'm going to be doing a whole lot of stuff there. I'll be starting to do Facebook live streams. And it's a community. Join. Don't feel like you're... I don't want you to feel you don't have to go through this and not be a part of a community. So and this is this community was based entirely on student feedback. So please join the community. You'll have a great time over there. Really. It's a wonderful environment where you can grow and you can share things and it'll be great. Number eight, read and open my emails, my emails and my messages. Why? Because I often ask you things like, hey, what new course do you want to see or Hey, how is this? How is this going? Can you give me some feedback on this brand new section that I put up? I often uh, ask for things. And if there's another course that you want it, my emails, that's where you find the discount codes that I sent out. So open the emails when you see them, please. And uh, more importantly, and not really more. Yeah, more important, not more importantly. I shouldn't say that. Just as important. Uh, Please join the Facebook community. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video right now and then I go ahead, join the Facebook group. I'm going to let you in. And by the way, only my students know about this Facebook group. People don't know anything about this that are not in the group or that are not my students. So this is specifically for all of my students. So go ahead and hit the pause button right now and go ahead and join the group and then we'll move on. I'll wait. OK, hopefully you went and joined the group. Now, the last thing that I want to close and say this at is this is the beginning of the course. Uh, Udemy loves to ask you, how am I doing? They love to ask you to get give me a rating when you just started the course. If you aren't quite sure and don't be afraid to just hit the ask me later or just 
wait until you've gotten a little bit more into the course and have learned a little bit more and decided that you're comfortable with giving a rating. You don't have to give a rating right away. Uh, but I also do ask that you are honest because that also helps me. So, and like I said, if there's anything that you feel like it's it's lacking, this course is lacking, let me know. I'll upload videos pretty quick. So I'm going to stop talking. Thank you so much. And thank you again for choosing my course. Thank you for being my student. It really means a lot to me. Go ahead, join the group, start interacting because you're going to improve and you're going to become a better artist as long as you work hard. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Here are the worksheets. They are, well, these aren't the worksheets, but they are in this particular video section under the resources. And what I want you to do is see that if you, if you've never down, if you've never unzipped a file before, and it's okay if you haven't, it doesn't make you a, a I don't know, it doesn't make you stupid or anything. It just means you've just not done it before. So this is, there's a program called 7-Zip. It's at 7-Zip.org. It's what I use to, I, I install it on my desktop and it's fine. No viruses as far as I know as of this recording. I've not ran into any issues. And uh, for those of you that are on Mac and you're trying to unload a zip or unzip a zip file, um, from what my other students have told me, and I'm just including this here because I don't have a Mac, so I don't know, but the Unarchiver and Keika, and they appear to be free. So the worksheets are not going to come into play until much later in the course, but I titled a video called Here Are the Worksheets, so you can always, always, always find them, and you can download them, and there you go. All right, I'm going to stop talking. So this is a very quick video because I just got some feedback that asked me a very excellent question that I did not see coming at all. And obviously from the title, you can tell this has to do with left-handed people, which I am not. So I through the lessons, you're going to see me tell you to go through a certain direction to make lines up and down. But going left to right, if you are left-handed and you feel way more comfortable going from left to, now I'm, I know you can't see it now, but I actually just switched the stylus to my left hand and it feels really awkward to me because I'm not left-handed. But if instead of you going from, from right to your right to left, if you feel more comfortable going from left to right, that's fine. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is a, a if this is an issue, because I just draw lines, I can draw from left to right or right to left with my right hand. But I don't, but if, for those of you that are maybe a little bit apprehensive because you're left-handed, if it feels more comfortable with you going in the direction of your left hand, that's fine. But I, I really, I don't know if it makes any difference because now I'm gonna draw with my, with my left hand. Let me hit delete here. Let me see if this makes any difference because I've, I've tried drawing with my left hand for fun when I was a kid, but it wasn't really fun. So let me go up and down here. So down, up. Okay, that's about the same. Up, down. And that's right to left. And the reason why I make this video is because I'm only right-handed, and I never thought about someone who's drawing left-handed would it make a difference. And so from left to right it's a it's it is more on you know something i'm not making as smooth of a line as i am even with my left hand going from left to right so if you're left-handed and you find that you're having a bit of trouble going from right to left or left to right and i don't and i know that you guys kind of angle your hands in a certain way and i'm, I'm trying to really no it's it's really if it's really unnatural for me as a right-handed person to go to, to do it that way, then I know it must be unnatural for you. So I do want to be considerate and keep that in mind. So if you are finding that you are having trouble going from right to left, if you are a left-handed person, then go from left to right. I, I don't see it. There's no, there's actually no problem with that at all. It's just the quality of the line that you put down. And if you go in another direction, <laughs> makes you feel better. Or if that's something that you that's going to give you a better quality line. You do what's going to work best for you. So I just want to make this quick video for all my left-handed people out there that are just starting the course.